Alright guys, welcome back into another NBA DFS video. Should have a pretty good slate. Let's start off with the point guards right away. Gonna kick it off with Drew Holiday here. We just know what he can do. He's a pretty consistent player, consistently averaging around 43 DK points this whole season. Anytime he's gonna be under 9K, I'm just gonna be considering him. Now this is a little bit more of a tougher matchup, but I still do think he'll be able to get there. Should get around 45 DK points for you tonight. Not a horrible base uh, start for you. The next play that I want to touch on is going to be Monte Morris. Now, he does draw a pretty nice matchup going against Detroit. It is his easiest matchup in the last three games. In his last three games, he has one for over 40 DK points. This is more of Jamal Murray's going to be ruled out. Then you can start to think about Monte Morris. But for now, we're just kind of putting that aside, waiting for that uh, Murray news to come out. Shabazz Napier is an option that I don't mind. Now, in the last game against Milwaukee, uh, D'Angelo Russell was out. But he was able to go for, uh, Napier was able to go for over 40 DK points. Now, obviously, we don't expect that, do I, but I do think he can at least go for 30 DK points in this matchup. I've been playing Napier a lot. He has been my ride or die for a while. Uh, Tomas Sanoransky, he's not a horrible option. In this matchup, he is so far averaging 32 DK points per game, and he's averaging a fantasy um, minute per game. Now, he had one game where he only had 16 DK points. But other than that, he had like 38 and 40 DK points. So I do think he can get there again. It's just a matter if those minutes are going to be there for him. And Vegas is projecting that game to stay close. So I do think that he should be a solid option for us again tonight. Now, Reggie Jackson is an option that I like. You know, we were targeting him a lot um, the last like week or so. Just because the matchups were pretty easy and um, his salary was really low. Well, the salary was still really low. Now, this isn't the best matchup, but I do think... He'll continue to ride the hot hand. He should at least get 30 DK points for us. And then I really don't mind him as a cash option. Now, if you want to go lower, there is some value options. you got Bryn Forbes, who, you know, his minutes should most likely stay the same. Maybe his usage goes up a little bit with Derek White out. Um, I do think he's going to be a safe 20 DK play. But if we were talking about GPP plays, I'd rather go with Patty Mills, whose usage does go up a little bit more with Derek White out. So I really don't mind Patty Mills as a GPP option. Forbes would be the cash play. Frank Jackson, a lot of people are going to be going with him, and I get it. You know, he's been getting the minutes, and, you know, if he's going to get 40 minutes, he's definitely going to hit value. But I'd rather just go with Tim Frazier, who's been really balling out the last three games, averaging 29 DK points in his last three games. And that's with all those injuries. So um, they're all supposed to be ruled out again tonight. So if that changes, we might have to adjust as the day goes on. But for now, I really like Tim Frazier as a value option. I really like uh, shooting guard Bradley Beal. Now, Devin Booker just went off against the Atlanta Hawks. He went for 60 DK points to get them. I don't see why Bradley Beal can't do the same. You know, he's a guy that has around the same usage as Devin Booker. Um, I do think he has a nice safe floor of around 40 DK points. He has been averaging over 40 DK points per game in this matchup. It's around um, 48 DK points, so I really don't mind Bradley Beal. Um, but I'd rather pay down. Uh, you can. It's easier to pay down at shooting guard, especially. Uh, Marco Bellinelli is not a horrible option. You can play him at small forward as well. Uh, with Derek White out, he should get a few more extra minutes. If he gets those extra minutes, he should be able to get to at least 25 DK points. He's under 4K, so that's really not a bad value option for us on today's slate. Um, obviously, I really like Giannis Antetokounmpo. In the first game against the Brooklyn Nets, he won for 69 DK points or 69 fantasy points. I think he's going to be another strong option for us tonight. And Eric Bledsoe is questionable. I do think he's going to play. But if Bledsoe was to sit, then he's just locking down since Kumpo. His usage goes up just a little bit more. Really like him as a strong option, though. Um, next play that we can touch on is going to be... Um, well, I do like that Young, but we'll touch on that in a second here. You can drop it lower, and there is some value options here. Um, Williams again for the Pelicans. He's going to be a strong option, much like uh, Tim Williams or Tim Frazier. Um, Williams has been dominating each of the last three games. That's just due to those injuries. The usage has went up. The minutes are right there. He should be able to at least get 20 DK points tonight. And you see what he's been doing recently, averaging 30 DK points per game. Really not a bad option. Um, so once again, that injury news has to stay the same. If it doesn't, then we might have to adjust as the day goes on. John Collins is not a bad option. I really don't mind him. Um, centers. Well, he just went for 60 DK points in this matchup you know, over the last. They've played each other three games. In three games, he's averaging 37 DK points per game. Maybe, you know, rides that hot hand of the last game. And he should be able to get to at least 40 DK points tonight. But I'd rather just go with LaMarcus Aldridge. LMA has been dominating recently, um, averaging well over 40 DK points per game. In the first matchup against the Kings, he went for over 40 DK points. So I think LMA is going to be one of my favorite plays on this slate, along with Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's going to be my base build right now, is uh, using those two a lot where I can. Next, I'm going to touch on is going to be Kenneth Farid. 
Now, I bring this up. You just saw what John Collins did against uh, the Phoenix Suns. He went for 60 DK points. Kind of Fareed, there's no reason why he can't go for at least uh, 40 DK points tonight in this easy matchup going against DeAndre Ayton. He should be able to dominate. In the last game, he only saw 20 minutes. That's because he fouled out at six fouls. He still had 33 DK points. So I think he's going to be a nice, safe, solid option for us tonight on the slate. I really like Thad Young once again. Um, with Thad Young, it's just a matter of if this game's going to stay close. Vegas believes that this game will stay close. So if he gets those minutes, if he gets over 30 minutes, well, in game he's been getting over 30 minutes since Depot's been out. He's averaging over 34 DK points per game. He really has that upside um, to just go off for us. I really don't mind him on the slate. He's going to be a nice, safe cash play for me. And you know, I might not have as much ownership to him in GPPs just because he doesn't have that massive upside that other players do. And, you know, it's easier to go down with some value. Mason Plumley could be a value option for us. If uh, Paul Millsap isn't ruled out, Millsap is currently questionable. And I just I think Mason Plumlee is going to get some extra run anyways just because Detroit likes to use two bigs as is. So Mason Plumlee should at least get 23 minutes. Now I checked Diallo. He's going to be a GPP option. Um, i just been waiting for him to get the minutes. Um, if he does get the minutes again, um, he definitely should produce like he did in the last game. I really don't mind him. Probably have like 10% ownership on, on today's slate less the news changes. Now, I talked about Aiden's defense. Counts Free doesn't have the best defense either. I think you could stack those two and run it back with each other if you want to do that. It's not a horrible option. But with DeAndre Aiden, I'd just rather go a little bit lower. You go with someone like Miles Turner, who also has an easy matchup going against a little Okafor defense. So you give him that easy matchup. And what he's been doing recently is pretty good, averaging over 30 DK points per game. I'm scheduling... Miles Turner to get at least 35 DK points tonight. And I do see, he, you know, he could go off for 40 DK points and really just dominate on the slate. Now, the last option I'm struggling with, I really like Brooke, Brooke Lopez on the slate. Now, it's a revenge game for him. We know that he used to play for the Brooklyn Nets. He should make for a solid option for us tonight. And, you know, he's been playing well recently, too. He should at least have a base of 25 DK points tonight. He went for 30 DK points against the Brooklyn Nets in their first matchup. So he makes for a strong option for us on tonight's slate. 